Hi guys, so in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry is chosen to participate in the Triwizard Tournament, even though he never put his name in the Goblet of Fire. And you might have wondered what would happen if Harry simply refused to participate. After all, many witches and wizards throughout time have been known to be badly wounded or even killed during their tournament, which of course was why it was stopped to begin with. For those who don't remember, the Triwizard Tournament was established as a friendly competition between the three biggest European schools for witchcraft and wizardry. Each school would have one champion that would fight the other champions in the Triwizard Tournament. The tournament would be composed of three magical tasks, the tournament would be held every five years, and schools would take turns to hosting the tournament. So, back on track. What would happen if a competitor refused to participate once selected? Well, Barty mentions this in the Goblet of Fire. The rules are absolute. The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. He is, as of tonight, a Triwizard Champion. But you might know that this is not the only magical contract that we know of. You might already have guessed my next point. It sounds like some version of the Unbreakable Vow. For those who don't remember, the Unbreakable Vow is also a magical contract that if broken will lead to your death. Now obviously we can't be sure whether or not a breach of the contract of the Triwizard Tournament would lead to the participant's death. However, there will surely be some parameters to set to make sure one would hold up the end of the agreement. By putting the name in the Goblet of Fire, the participant signed the contract and therefore also the terms. Therefore, it is safe to assume that Harry would have most likely died had he failed to participate. If you still doubt whether or not the contract was a form of breakable vow, I would like you to consider this. Dumbledore was one of, if not the most powerful wizard of all time. Furthermore, he had in his possession the Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in the universe. So if it had been some simple contract, I think it is safe to assume he would have been able to break it. Though not even Dumbledore could break this contract. Therefore, it seems to me like some powerful ancient magic that can't be tampered with. However, we still have one question to answer. It wasn't Harry who put his name in the Goblet of Fire, and since that is the case, shouldn't a contract have been with the person who put it there, instead of the name written on the parchment? Meaning, had Harry broken the contract, would he have died or Barty Crouch Jr.? Well, Mad-Eye mentions this. And of course he is lying! The hell he is! The God of the Fire is an exceptionally powerful magical object. Only an exceptionally powerful Confundus charm could have hoodwinked it. Magic way beyond the talents of a fourth year. So only an exceptionally powerful Confundus charm could have fooled the Goblet of Fire. The Confundus charm is a charm which causes confusion in a person or bewitched object. It appears that there are varying degrees of confusion caused by the spell from simply tricking a person to think about a specific incident to confusing a person to the point at which they endanger themselves. Since the man who mentions this charm also happens to be the one who fooled the Goblet of Fire, it is safe to assume it was in fact this charm that was used. And if that is the case, the Goblet of Fire would have been led to believe that it indeed was Harry Potter who put his name in the Goblet of Fire, binding him magically to the tournament. Let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you'd like, and if that is the case then I'll see you soon.